Hello, everyone. Your man is back. Fannie Mae, Clammy Day, Jammy J. What is going on, Squidlets, Baby Yams, and Baby Jays? I'm keeping it. Your Uncle Jam is here to stay. I think we need to know, though, between Papa Yam and Uncle Jam, who's it going to be? Leave me a comment down below. Yammy Noob is still on vacation, so I'm here to fill you in on the goods. Today, we are going to discuss the seven cheapest brand new bikes for 2020. So if you're the kind of person who's always on the lookout for a deal, you can find them here. If you absolutely have to have a new motorcycle, but you also don't want to break the bank on a shiny new H2R, then consider this list of bikes. Quick side note, a few ground rules for this list. All bikes need to be brand new and have an MSRP to be considered. Current model year of 2020 only, Bikes must be readily available, no wait lists or back orders. If you're really strapped for cash and want a new bike, consider the previous year's leftovers and scour the internet. You're welcome. Let's begin with the top seven cheapest new motorcycles. Number seven, Kawasaki Ninja 400. Is there a list that the Ninja 400 isn't on? Oh wait, anything dealing with top speed, ouch. Anyway. The Ninja 400 makes our list because instead of dying on a used R6 for five grand, you can get a brand new Ninja 400 and learn how to ride and not simply squid. Remember to wear your gear. Unlike 600 plus CC sport bikes, the Ninja pretty much retains its value throughout its life. Their purpose is either as a commuter or a beginner bike, and then as mileage and maintenance increases, they become super cheap project bikes or stunt bikes. Barely coming in with a base miserp of $49.99 without the ABS, the Ninja 400 makes the perfect bike. If you're a beginner, you want newer bikes because they don't require maintenance and you can have confidence that they won't break down on you. If you're experienced, nothing beats a brand new bike that doesn't break the bank. Compared to other bikes in its class, the 400 does extremely well. It has more horsepower, more torque. It comes with better ergonomics for the rider. The Ninja 400 also comes from the factory with a 40 millimeter Showa fork. That's huge for such a small beginner bike. Tried and true, the Ninja 400. Hell, it's actually one of our beginner giveaway bikes. There's a link somewhere down below for you to find out more. Oh, bait and switch. You thought I was gonna talk about the beginner bikes, didn't you? Nope, Jammy J is here to talk about something every rider needs to know about. It's about your balls. In order to ride your bike, you need balls. Or if you're a lady, well, you have them in spirit. Gentlemen, take care of your balls. Manscaped has everything you need to groom your southern hemisphere properly. The Lawnmower 2.0 has a ceramic skin safe blade, which is replaceable, an ergonomic handle, upgraded size and design from the original, and strokes 6,000 times per minute. I said strokes. Some of the best improvements are the 60 minute runtime and the USB recharging. Get serious about your balls and get them cleaned up, trimmed up, and feeling good. Don't forget that Manscaped has a plethora of accessories as well. They have an entire product line for your crop with the Crop Cleanser Body Wash, Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Ball Toner and Refresher, and even the Crop Mop pH Balanced Wipes. Wherever you go, however you get there, and no matter the circumstance, Manscaped has your balls covered. If you sign up for the replenish plans, you'll never run out of the products you need the most and never have to remind yourself to buy more. They'll come straight to your door and leave all the goods. Save big when you buy through a replenish plan. And remember, there is no commitment. You can manage your plan anytime or cancel if necessary. Use the code YAM20, that's Y-A-M-2-0, at checkout to save even more. Don't worry, a bald-headed dude is sending you to shave your balls. Wait, I'm not Yammy, I'm Jammy J. Do we even have a picture of me? It's okay, consider me as your uncle, the cool, smooth-talking one, not the creepy one that stares at family events. Get your balls in shape, get manscaped. Number six, the Yamaha R3. This channel is called Yammy Noob for a reason. So if you're a noob and you wanna get a Yamaha, then the R3 is one of the best bikes to start on. It's not just because it's a Yamaha that you should get it, no, it's because of its features. You can pick one up off the showroom floor for $49.99, the non-ABS model, and start tearing up the streets. The R3 still has the same 321cc parallel twin engine that pumps out 36 horsepower and 19.8 pound-feet of torque. 
The R3's 0 to 60 time is a respectable 5.22 seconds still. You can still pop nasty wheelies on a sub 600cc bike. Didn't know that? Well, it's possible, but that doesn't mean Jammy J is going to be ripping them anytime soon. For such little money, the R3 is one of the best looking beginner bikes around. It's a fresh appearance compared to the looks of the Ninja, which blends in with Kawasaki's other 25 Ninja bikes. And the R3 demands attention with lines inspired by their R line of bikes. The Yamaha R3 is a solid choice for any sport bike rider. New or experienced, any rider can learn more and increase their skills on such a nimble bike. If you've been to the track before, you've seen plenty of R3s lapping R1s because the riders on the leader bikes just don't know what they're doing. There, I said it. Learn to ride. Number 5. The Honda CBR 300R if you want to spend a couple hundred dollars less, then you can get a Honda CBR300R. From the factory, the CBR300R Spark Blade MSRPs at $46.99. Wait, did I just call it a Spark Blade? Like the Fire Blade, but smaller? Just kidding, it's not called the Spark Blade. Honda, if you take this idea, I'm in for 20% royalties. The single-cylinder bike shares its engine and other components with its cruiser brother, the Rebel 300. This bike has a low barrier to entry. Seriously, the seat height is 30.7 inches, making it one of the lowest bikes to sit on. Available with ABS with a cost, the bike is great for beginners who aren't looking for the thrills of acceleration nor the responsibility to have a complete will before riding. With only a 286cc engine, this bike has the smallest one in the beginner sport bike class. It's a Honda though, so it's reliable, durable, and it's an option if you don't want a Ninja or a Yamaha. The bike's ergonomics allow for a more upright riding position, but it is possible to get in the tuck position if you'd like. The top speed is 100 miles per hour, but it's very light at only 364 pounds, so this bike is nimble through traffic, lane splitting, or even tight maneuvers. Number 4. The Honda Rebel 300 for $46.99. Making our list and being the only cruiser on it is the Honda Rebel 300. This bike shares the same engine as the CBR 300R, which lowers the cost of maintenance dramatically. Why have a bike with a unique engine when you can buy one with parts that have been mass produced? Seriously, as your first bike, you should buy something that almost every other noob has. If you have to save up for a Ducati, you won't be able to afford a Biscotti. Or the parts, if anything breaks. The actual MSRP of the bike is still to be determined, which kind of eliminates it from the list. But the 2019 model has an MSRP of $44.99, just $200 less than its CBR300R counterpart. We're assuming the price won't jump much higher, and it'll at least be under the $49.99 mark. Economics, people! If Honda lists this bike above five grand, they will lose out on the market they are intending it for. Anyways, the Rebel 300 is a great, cheap, brand new motorcycle because it is for people who don't want a sport bike. Most cruisers are heavy, they are expensive, and they are too much to handle for a beginner or a smaller rider. The Rebel finds its niche here. New for 2020 are upgraded lighting from conventional bulbs to LEDs, a slipper clutch, and a seat height of 27.2 inches. The bike is nimble and best for smaller riders with a wet weight of only about 364 pounds. If you haven't ridden this thing in the MSF course, then you probably haven't gone to the MSF course. It's popular amongst beginners because everything it has to offer. Number 3. The Suzuki DR200S Coming in at number 3 on our list of cheapest new motorcycles is the Suzuki DR200S. With a retail price of $46.49, this bike is within reach for most riders who prefer a dual sport over a sport bike, standard, or cruiser. It's the little brother of the DRZ400S we're giving away, ding ding, and has a 199cc single cylinder engine mated to a 3.3 gallon fuel tank. This bike makes an excellent beginner dual sport because it has a seat height of 33.3 inches, which makes it short people friendly. Suzuki claims 88 miles per gallon on this nooner pop and dual sport. Best of all, this bike weighs only 278 pounds. That means it's really easy to maneuver in the dirt, on the trail, or on the streets. With such a light weight, it'll be easy to pick up alone in case you drop it or get it stuck somewhere on the trails. The perfect dual sport for beginners, I guess we missed this one in our dual sport video, mm. or for an experienced rider looking to get into dirt or trail riding. Number 2. 
the Suzuki GSX250R. Coming in at second place on this list is the Suzuki GSX250R. Although it looks like a baby Gixxer, it doesn't deliver like one. Compared to the top speed of the R3 or the Ninja 300-400, this bike just doesn't deliver with 88 miles per hour fully topped out, unless you have a flux capacitor strapped onto the back. For all the beginner squids out there, I wish this bike was more than what it currently is. I think Suzuki could benefit from having a bike in the 300 to 500 cc displacement because having a GSX R600 as a starter can be near suicidal. The GSX 250R sounds like it's going to rip some mega dank nooners with the rest of the Gixxer boys, but in reality falls very short. The bike has an MSRP of $45.99, but falls short on a lot of comparisons to the R3 or the Ninja 400. Even compared to the CBR300R, it's a slow bike and not really worth saving a couple hundred bucks. If you're a diehard Suzuki fanboy and want to mature into the GSX-R lineup of bikes, this bike could be for you. It's a Suzuki and you'll be able to learn all the slow speed maneuvers and practice your urban riding tactics way before you purchase that GSX-R1000. Number one, the Honda Grom. Number one on our list is the Honda Grom. Whoa, I can't decide if this is actually a toy or a bike. The Grom rocks a 125cc engine and comes in four colors, just like the old IMAX. Didn't catch that one? Apple had computers that were built into the back of the monitor, immortalizing the idea of plug and play. Colors were kind of fruity, more of a marketing ploy than anything. With 9.7 horsepower and 8 pound-feet of torque, this bike will rip dank nooners all day long. It has amazing fuel mileage at 134 miles per gallon and a top speed of 56 miles per hour. It isn't the best bike for all conditions, but never underestimate the power of Honda Groms in large numbers. These bikes are the most fun you can have on two wheels in a group setting. Fact. In Sardinia, Italy, there is a rare and special cheese called casu marzu. After it is made from sheep's milk, it is left to sit and become infested with flies. It is eaten with the maggots of the flies inside. It is illegal and banned in Europe, but is available on the black market. Goodbye.